WC Evolution. The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit, and when the match begins, it will be officiated by official Avon Fox. The introducing first. Being accompanied to the ring by the CWC Alberta Champion Pride, ladies and gentlemen, Envy! Alright folks, welcome to this week's edition of Evolution. Looks like I'm flying solo once again here, it's uh, Mike the Ref on the call. And um, as you heard off the top of the show, Pride and Envy aren't exactly happy at uh, the fact that Cherry Doll got a victory last month at, uh, actually it's a couple of shows of evolution ago here, where she pulled out that sick cherry drop, the aforementioned Styles Clash, out of nowhere and got the one, two, three in her first singles match, pulling out a huge victory there. Envy did get a measure of revenge, though, taking Cherry Doll out in the uh, Royal Rumble match. Cherry Doll was holding her own there, but a super kick out of nowhere from the apron by somebody who shouldn't even have been allowed out there. She got eliminated from that. And I can see the effect on Envy's even taking out the mic system in the ring. Great. I cannot stand either one of these two. You gotta love a kid with enthusiasm here, and she's got speeds of energy, and just so much adrenaline, and she's on such a roll right now. Cherry Doll's been improving each and every match that she's been in here. But the problem is now there's a little bit of videotape on uh, on Cherry Doll now, so there's a little bit of scouting involved. And the one thing I will give pride and envy here is the fact they are very cunning and very smart. But Cherry definitely has the fan support on her side. And there's a bell, we are underway. Now, Envy's got to find some way to keep this match at her pace and in control and not get affected by the power game. Cherry is fired up here. Just runs her over with that shoulder block. Let's get a double tie up. And just a vicious takeover with that headlock. These two ladies definitely have no love loss for each other. Oh, and a huge shoulder tackle once again. And Envy heads to the outside to regroup. As referee Fox makes his count. Cherry Doll trying to go it after. Uh oh. Hey, wait a second. Pride getting his nose involved here. Oh no. Measuring her up. Kick to the stomach. Oh, drives her head right into the apron. Just that momentary distraction by Pride. Like, seriously, last, last time it was the two of them and. Cherry don't match the surprise, but 
There's a two count there. But it just seems... Re put that mask back on, right? Referee Ava getting to the fence. Oh, wait a second. Oh, dude, get, get that son of a gun out of here. Seriously. Pride is so proud of himself here. But now this is where Envy is going to take advantage. She's definitely one lady, if I can call her that, that knows how to take advantage of a, a bad situation for her opponent. And just hammering those shots into the back. This crowd fired up for Cherry, but looks like we got a suplex coming. Picture perfect in textbook. Rolls over the cover. Oh no, just smother her. Thought it was gonna be down to the curtain, not just choking her once again. Somebody's gonna find some way to get pride. Oh no, look out, oh! Mafia kick to the mush. That might be enough. Rolls her over. Oh, once again, on the throat. Shoulders down. Dahl kicks out at two. Oh, now back to the throat once again. If you take the wind out of the sails of uh, somebody with such momentum like Cherry. Uh-oh. What does Envy have lined up here? On oh, a boot right to the face once again. Nothing fancy about that, just trying to scramble the brain cells. Cover, nope. Once again, go for that choke first and it costs her. Oh, once again, right on that throat. I gotta admit, it's a very basic strategy, but... Hey, wait a second, what the heck? Got her goozled. What is she... Oh, Cherry just fights her way out of it. What a shot! And a chop! Oh, and a huge forearm! And a chop again! Going in for a bulldog! Where is she getting this expertise from? I've heard reports of her training at the CWC Training Center, but this is far beyond her time here. Taking her time here. Got her set up. Fisherman suplex. Perfectly executed. Cherry is in full control here. Is she set? Oh, she's setting up for it. She calls this a cherry drop. We saw this last time. Oh, wait a second. The hell is Pride doing up there? What the hell? Oh, yes, yes. Get him. Looks like Pride's coming in the hard way. Oh my, oh, I think Cherry Dolls had enough of pride. No way. Go for the Cherry, oh, super kick to the face. No, no, damn it. Envy with the victory, but Having that little rat pride out here had to, just had to be the cause of all the problems here, of course. I'd like to see these two ladies go one-on-one, -on -one, but yeah, I, I don't know. Absolutely disgusting what these two can do together. Now they got wrath on their cause too somewhere in here. 
This is a dastardly situation. But we're, we're gonna take it to break here. When we come back, we're gonna have our tag team title match with the Wrecking Crew taking on Skylar Paris Aston and a mystery partner. Stay tuned. Hey, wait a second. Hey, guys in the truck, hold it up here. We got Johnny Kickass coming out. Now there is definitely no love loss with these two. The Canada Cup winner. We saw in the last episode of Evolution take that victory. Take that championship of the guaranteed title. Hey! What the heck are you doing? Get your hands off her! No! No! Oh! Thank goodness, Gordon! What the hell is he doing out here? Thank goodness Cherry Doll gets out of the way. Kickass has the mic. Nobody wants to hear you talk. Thank God. Everyone can hear me just fine. I, I don't know what the heck's going on here. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Kickass last month won the Canada Cup. And as such, he has demanded a celebration of his victory. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, cue the celebration. Are you kidding me? Ty Zander Price coming out with the Canada Cup and a pinata. I got a feeling this might not be the person that kick ass wanted out here as part of the uh, festivities. I think it might be the wrong gender. But. Kickass looks less than impressed here. Uh, Price, this might not be. Prime time, I know you're a guy for partying, but this might not be. I don't even think the streamers are working that well. What the heck? Oh! Well, that's gonna take a little starch out of you. Oh, and a vicious close up. What the hell did Prime Tap do to deserve this? That no good son of a. Oh no, not the pinata. Oh! Where goes the pinata? We well, asked for a celebration. This is indie wrestling, so the budget might be a little tight. Looks like it looks like Kickass is calling a shot. He wants the winner of Dawkins and Parrish 
We're gonna go through a tables match next week. The folks are gonna take it to commercial. I'm gonna try and get some footage to make this all make sense here. We'll, we'll be right back. Folks, uh, you saw the video of a. Uh... Wow, that's loud. Uh, you heard the uh, video from uh, Johnny Kickass and Bob Gordon. That's a whole crazy situation in itself. But this one here, this is our first title match of the show. We got the CWC Tag Team Champions, the Wrecking Crew, at Dean Richter. I'm thinking it's Zesty Cheese tonight, along with the headline, Sean Martins. Now, both of these two had a uh, really decent showing at the uh, Royal Rumble match last week. Unfortunately, both of them got disposed of by Wrath. Hell, half the roster, I feel, got disposed by Wrath. Oh, wait a minute, friends and influence people. There they are in all their glory, folks, the CWC Tag Team Champions. You know, I can't stand their attitude, but you know what, they're effective. But this angle right here is all a bit about jealousy. Jealousy, anger, and trying to... <laughs> There's some karma for you, folks. I'm still in shock on how well uh, Skyler Paris Austin has done here. He managed to make it to the final of the Canada Cup, taking out all three members of the Wrecking Crew, including uh, subsidiary member Maniac. And he's coming out with shades here tonight. Wow. I can see the level of confidence just brimming on him. But who's he got as a tag team partner? He hasn't made a lot of friends and due to his previous uh, actions, parts of this big turn of art being dumped by the wrecking crew, I don't know if he's recruited too many people. I think the only person that's taken him under his wing is that Cheetah Bear Jude Dawkins. But he's involved in that, that tables match with Chris Parrish coming up next episode. So I got, I got no idea, folks. There's nothing on my sheet here about who he's tagging up with. What? Talk about digging into the playbook, folks. Yeah. 
Abe Adams, one of the stalwarts in Alberta wrestling here. This guy has grown up right in front of our eyes and he is now known as above average Abe Adams. Sorry folks, I'm just in shock here. Skyler Persons to find himself a hell of a partner here. Aiden Adams has turned himself into a bit of a tag team specialist here in Alberta. Teaming up with the likes of Kenny Stryker in uh, the Prairie Wrestling Alliance, one of the neighboring promotions here, here in Alberta. But he could end up getting double gold here in terms of tag team championships. I don't know how much cohesion they're gonna have, but you're definitely gonna have energy and you're gonna have heart here. As referee Derek Law presents those titles. This is gonna be a very interesting matchup here. Adams is gonna start here for um, his side. Are you guys going to figure it out or are you going to get in the ring already? Come on now. Looks like we're going to get Dean Richter in here for the champs. I got to tell you folks, I've been looking up forward to this matchup for a very long time. Dean Richter is one of the top, most underrated wrestlers in Alberta, as well as Aiden Adams here. Goes about their business, does great work, and has found success of where they've gone. It looks like Richter's not too impressed about wanting to lock up. Taking his time here. Now he's just trying. Hey. Now Richter's trying to make friends and influence people. This crowd is firmly behind Adams, you can tell that right now. Card Noble tie up. Richter take control of the head here. I'd have to say that Ad Adams has got to keep this on his feet and keep the match moving. I think that's going to be the best way for his team to get the victory here. Because you know, Austin, while well, he, he's performed quite, a, quite admirably throughout the Canada Cup, still got to work on that technical, technical prowess. But Lord knows he's trying here, folks. That's what matters. Richter gets out of it. Tries to go for the head again, and Adams gets a little sidestep action in. So cunning and smart here. Once again, into the, into the headlock. Bounce off the ropes. Nice tackle. Grab the cover, one, two. Just a two count. Now just taking control of that arm. Into the overhead wrist like, uh-oh. Working on those fingers. Oh! Just ripping and tearing. That's gotta be painful in so many different ways. Not that Richter isn't deserving a little bit of beating, but there's the tag into Austin. Skyler with a beautiful elbow. And Richter scurries out to the outside. And you can see there's some uh, dastardly advice going on here. Between the members of the wrecking crew. 
those devious minds. Richter gonna take full advantage of his 10 count. And tags out into the headline, Sean Martins. Now Martins in his own right made it all the way to the semifinals of the Canada Cup. Taking out not only the Irishman, but massive damage as well. Two, two of the legends here in Alberta wrestling. But when it comes to tag team work, these two are well-oiled machines. Some people would even call them mechanics. Carnival tie up once again. Good, taking control of the arm. Austin getting over the rope. Oh, look out, what you got here? Beautiful reversal. Let's get just controlled that arm. Trying to get him out of the, the wrecking crew corner there, back to the center of the ring. Very smart ring awareness. Rolls him up for the cover, one, two. Just a two count. Come on into the arm bar. There's a tag into Adams. We're setting up here for a double team. Up, nice suplex. Got it in for a new, for a new team. These two are, Working really well. A lot better than I expected. Charging in that corner. Got him up. Atomic drop. And a clothesline leg sweep. Little high low action. Go for the cover. New champs. No. Beautiful combination there. Trying to set up. Oh wait, blind tag. Adams didn't see it. Oh, that form to the face. Oh no, look out. What do we got here? Drop kick into the spine buster. Cover one, two. Just a two count. And Martins wasn't even the legal man. Richter just raining those shots in. Oh, and hard into the corner. And now this is where Richter is most effective. Just having the guys chopped in the corner. Just, oh, and look at this. He's got the referee distracted. On oh, a staff suplex over. Cover the cover. One, two. And the two count by the headline. Looks like they got Adams isolated here. Once again, just rated shots down. Now just choking him. Just a plain old choke. And there's a tag into Richter. Aids has got to find some way to get over to this corner. For months, I never thought, oh, what a kick. I never thought I'd be saying these words, but for any chance to win, they're going to have to find a way to tag in Skyler Ferris Austin into this. But Adams is hurting big time. Oh, once again into the corner. Here's the tag into Martins. Go off the ropes. Boot to the stomach. Oh, puts him up. Oh! Got with that spinning elbow. Oh, into that Michinoku driver. 
Beautiful tag team maneuver in one, two. And Adams kicks out, but barely. Adams has got to be close to running on empty here. Trying to get back up to his feet. He's lowering these shots in here. Once again, just trying to get some separation. That's going to be the key here in this matchup. Trying to get over that corner. He's trying. Oh, Martin's just too powerful. Oh, rolls him over. Oh, no! No! Ah! We almost got a three, but we got a full boot out of it. Oh! Somebody cover that up. One, two. Anybody got some bleach handy? I might need it for my eyes right now. Yeah. Into the buckle here. Adams in the wrong part of town as the tag's made. Dean Richter into the ring. Labeling those boots right into the stomach. Come on, referee, you gotta get some, one of these guys out of here. With the cross. Oh, Yuranagi takedown. Oh, Martins misses. What an up kick! Martins is in loopy lane. Victor is down. Adams going to the top. There's a reason they call him above average, and here you're gonna see why. Cross body on the both of them. All three men are down. Austin is dying for that tag. Can Adams get there? Yes, he can. Austin in the ring, and he is fresh. Back elbows. Headlock takeover. He's called for the swipe left. His version of a face buster. Setting up for it. Oh, got it. He's got him, but he won't pin him. He wants to, oh. He's going for that moonsault. Oh, got him. One, two, new champs. Wait a second. Sorry folks, I had the wrong view here. Referee Ava, Ava coming up making a call. Apparently, Martin's foot was on the ropes. This is horse hooey, what the? Oh, and they drank Adams out of the ring. Oh no! The general just clubbed Adams with his cane. Oh no. This is uh, I was afraid of, folks. Skyler Pierce Austin is in here on his own. Oh no. Got him with the, got him set up. No way. Oh, hit him with that knee. Decapitation device and it is over. Damn it. No, no, there's only two. How did he kick out of that? 
Folks, sorry, he got me. I thought that was three for sure. But look at this. They're, they're just going to pick the bones here. Adams is out. Thanks to the general. Oh, no. What have they got planned here? Oh, no. No. You're going to kill this kid. No! Correct from the top rope. One, two, three. Damn it. Folks, I don't blame the referee for overturning his call. But damn it, that, that definitely was not. Oh, that was absolutely disgusting what the general did to Hayden. Knocked him out. And still, your CWC Tag Team Champions are Sean Martins and Dean Richter, the Wrecking Crew. I, I'm gonna... <laughs> Folks, we're gonna take it to commercial break. We're gonna be back with our Alberta title match. Dylan Stone gets his shot at Pride. Is Bob Gordon ever going to be able to get through a single solitary promo? I'm trying to sell stuff at the merch booth, damn it! As we get the uh, Alberta champion Pride coming out. Bad enough, he was involved in the first match of the night. He's supposed to be scheduled to go up against Dylan Stone right now. But usually you introduce the champion second. I will say there's a bonus that uh, that garden gnome known as Envy isn't around here. Maybe Cherry Doll chased her out of the belt. Hey! Pride's got to show a little bit more respect to the commissioner. Maybe get the mic a little easier, but on second thought, just cut his mic, seriously. I don't know who feels more hate here, Pride or Parrish. Thank God we don't have to see him tonight. I guess we'll have to listen to what uh, Mr. Pride has to say here. I like this cheer.
God. The champion called out the challenger? Because the challenger, the former champion, Dylan Stone, he managed to be the last one in the Royal Rumble last episode. Almost got the number one contendership to take on Chris Parrish. But unfortunately, the Cheetah Bear set him through a table on the outside. But Stone is not gonna let that get in his way. He wants that Alberta title back. Well, Stones looks like he's ready for this matchup. Now, all you fans of the audience, this is the match you want to see tonight, correct? You want to see Dylan Stone lose to Pride? That's what's scheduled. No, no, you see the last time we were in the ring, every time we're in the ring, it is me standing tall and you on your back. You haven't earned this title shot, so I went above this ass clown's head. And I put a stipulation. You can have a shot at my Alberta title. Only if, and boy is that a big if, you can defeat my wrath. Oh my God. Are you kidding? I'm just getting it buzzed through my headset, folks. Yeah, this is legit. The CWC head office pulled one on Gordon here. If I was Gordon, I'd be pissed, but if I'm Dylan Stone, I gotta be a little worried. Not only is this man a monster, but he's got pride as a Mentor, leader, I'm not sure what the relationship is here. But on top of that, Stone's the guy that eliminated Wrath from the Royal Rumble. With an assist from Jude Dawkins, of course, but uh, yeah. Stone is in for some trouble here. This is the singles debut of Wrath. And he has not moved. Oh, I feel sorry for referee Fox, that poor bastard. There's a bell here underway. It looks like Wrath has only one get. Oh, uh oh. That wasn't good. Stone working on those kicks, going after a quadricep. Rath trying to get some shots in. He's got that powerful upper body, but he's still trying to, uh-oh. Uh-oh. What a feel. Just takes him right off his feet. Oh, no. Trying to go for a leg scissors. Oh, no, this is not good. Got him up. Oh, stone over the top. Go to the back, coming across. Big splash, but Wrath manages to send him over the top rope. Look out. Oh, Wrath gets taken over the top rope. Stone's trying to take a chance here. Coming across. 
basement drop kick. Rats into the railing. Rats looks like he's going for that. Oh, it looked like he was. Oh! Looked like he was going to go for that Saturday night special on the floor. And Rats just said, nope. What a right hand. And this man's controlled by Pride. Oh, no, look out. Oh! Raph goes into the stairs. Pride a tiny bit worried here. Still pushing himself there, ready to come in. Thought better of it. Now just using those kicks. I don't know how effective they're gonna be after that shot on the leg. Oh, I've seen this before. Coming over. Topi, cold, Hilo. Looks like he said, oh no. Rat just sat up. Oh wait. Probably causing a little distraction here, look out. What a spine buster! My goodness, what a shot! Oh no, now... This is not where Stone needs to be. Setting him up. Almost a gut wrench power bomb. Cover one, two. Just a two count. You know that Dylan's dying to get that shot at Pride in that Alberta title. Now just cinching in there. And you can see that uh, Rath is keeping that chest expanded by hooking the leg around the, the right arm and having his arm pressing against that left arm. This crowd here at Festival Hall Red Deer trying to fire up for Mr. Saturday. Oh! Any momentum Stone tries to get, Rath cuts him up one shot. Oh no! Got him up. Over the top. Rolls him over. One, two. Just a two count. Whoa. Vicious clothesline. That Larry could take an entire army out. Oh, it just dumps him outside like yesterday's garbage. Oh, and hey! The heck? First Pride once again taking advantage of a situation. A little weasel. Swear he needs to get that bare haircut to what he has right now. But anyway, to the matter of fact here, Rath doesn't need any help. Just shove Stone into the ring. This could, this could almost be elementary now. Oh, now he's just smothering him. His version of a cravat here. Just squeezing the forehead against the chest. It's almost like a vice grip in three different ways. Stone just, he's got to fight out of it, get some separation, but. Rath just chucks him into the corner. Oh, drop kicks the leg, sends Rath into that turnbuckle. Once again, Stone just trying to use those feet to his advantage. Oh, what a hell of a kick. Unload the heavy artillery here. Coming off the ropes. 
<laughs> Folks, that man is not all there. Number one, two. Stone kicked out again. Clyde tells him that's it. I've seen him hit this power bomb here. If he hits this, it's gonna be lights out. Trying to send him straight to hell. Stone trying to throw some fists. Get some separation, but gets down. Once again, just kicking. Trying to, trying to go for that Saturday night special, maybe? No, shoulder block. But Raph, it's almost like he didn't feel it. He's not all there. Uh oh, look at the super kick. Raph, oh. Sends Stone over the top. Look out for Stone. Cross body. Cover one, two. Oh, if it wasn't for that momentary distraction by Pride. I got a feeling Stone might have had that. But Stone fired up. He's got that, trying to get that knee in there. Trying to get that knee fired up. Hey, wait. Pride up on the ring apron, what? Get that greasy rat right out of there, oh. Coming off the ropes. Oh, knee in the back. Well, let's talk about getting rid of the trash. Oh, Stone looks like he's ready. Oh, no way. Oh, thought he was going to go for that. Oh, no. Look at this. Oh. Price just had enough. Comes in and attacks still in Stone here. Oh no, what's Rath gonna do? He's got a goose hold. No way. Oh! Choke slam the hell! No, what? What's he? Oh no. What is Pride? Oh no, what? Oh no. Pride just hit Stone with the Saturday Night Special. Folks, Dylan Stone is your winner. Let's not forget this. He's gonna get a shot at Pride. But that might not be the story right now. No, what? Oh no. He's got him up. Oh my God. Stone is absolutely broken. Folks, I don't know what to say here. We're gonna wrap this show up. I'm getting it, but. I'm just gonna get buzzed through my headset here, folks. Pride is gonna be defending the Alberta title. They're forcing him to do it next week. It's not gonna be against Dylan Stone. I don't know who it's gonna be against. But then next week as well, we got the tables match. Chris Parrish and Jude Dawkins for the CWC Championship.
But on behalf of everyone here at the Canadian Wrestling Coalition, oh, disgusting those two. On behalf of the Canadian Wrestling Coalition, this is Mike the Ref. Thank you all for joining us for CWC Evolution. I will see you in August. Still. The Canadian Wrestling Coalition, the evolution of wrestling. Alberta is blessed with a wide variety of high quality sports. Rich with talented athletes and successful franchises in all levels in any sport. We aim to tell those stories. The Win Column Sports Network was created with one goal in mind, providing professional level coverage of semi-professional franchises, athletes, and organizations in Edmonton. We believe Edmonton can stand proudly behind our moniker of the City of Champions. This city has been home to multiple AJHL championships, a two-time WCBL semi-finalist, numerous WWE signed independent wrestlers, and many more success stories. This is Shane, Hurricane Helms. Hey guys, this is TJ Wilson, AKA Tyson Kidd. Ladies and gentlemen, this is almighty Christopher Daniels. Stories you can only find on the Win Column Sports Network. Folks, welcome to this week's episode of Evolution here. I'm joined by the eclectic man who got a pinata over his head last week, Primetime Xander Price. How you feeling? Uh, very sore. And about that pinata, I paid good money for that, and he did not respect my pinata at all. You mean the CWC didn't pay for the pinata? Of course they didn't. Hashtag indie wrestling, folks. Uh, but we got the Alberta champion pride in the ring who managed to weasel his way out of an Al Alberta title match last show, sending Wrath against Dylan Stone. Now, Dylan's out uh, this week due to uh, the multiple injuries to everything. Doesn't surprise me. Weasel, weasel, weasel. I agree, Mike. That's going to be an interesting fight if Dylan's 100%. Oh, hold on. Folks, like I told you last show, we got buzzed. Mike, 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 Mike. Listen to this music. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the goofiest guys I've ever seen in a wrestling ring. Maniac. You may call him Goofy. I've known this man for a hell of a long time. And one thing I will say, he is effective. A, a multiple time champion in multiple companies. This is a serious challenge to Pride's Alberta title right here. That is if he is still not loopy from that crazy spin kick we saw from Gang Sudo Specialist, Steve. He sees me at one. Oh, what the? Oh, there we go. I told you, Mike. Goofy, nutty, this man is all out maniacal. That's one way to do it. Oh, hold on. To the good guys. 
to the heroes. What about a bad boy? What about a evil entrepreneur? What about a mean man? And myself, my lawyer! Memory, would you do the honors in ringing this bell, please? I got Price here in stitches listening to this. And there's a bell. We are underway. I'll put a title on the line here. Uh, folks. You know what? As much as he sounds goofy there, he will do anything, and I mean anything, to gain the advantage here. I think Envy's still in envy of uh, that little lip lock from earlier. Well, I'm telling you, he definitely has more courage than I do because I definitely would not have kissed that woman. I plead the fifth at this point. Uh, if you listen to Chris Parrish's commentary at the Rumble, you'll know why. Um, but you know what? Getting, all si getting serious here. Maniac, as long as he's 100%, I would have to call the favorite in this matchup. But right now, he's not the... He's not 100%. You pointed that out perfectly. And, and don't forget, Mike, that uh, Jack, there I guess, pride as oh. he's going by. Sorry. Yep. Watch out, that <laughs> other arm's going to get ripped. I up. almost dropped the J word. He has the champion's advantage. Absolutely. Oh. Well, that's one way to fix a problem. Just a little thumb to the eye. Maniac in full control here. I love how uh, Commissioner Gordon threw this curveball out. Uh, Bob did a great job in finding him an opponent and an unconventional opponent. Did anybody here think that uh, that Maniac was going to be the opponent for Pride? Honestly, I didn't even know Maniac was released from hospital. Um, actually, he just got cleared this week by the CWC doctors. Um, he's not at 100%. He'll even admit that. But... Whoa! A shot right to the face. Nothing fancy about that. Roll up! One! Two! Had a piece of the tights too, but... That was really close, Mike. Very close. I don't know if Maniac should be making that hand gesture around himself too much, but... That's, that's exactly what I was thinking, but I wasn't going to say it out loud. Well, I can run faster than he can right now, so... I sure as hell can't. <laughs> oh! What a headbutt! Right to the shoulder! Maniac said right off the bat he would do anything. It's better than dealing with these little goody two-shoes he claims that uh, will, won't take every, oh, look at, look at Envy, oh! oh. Right coming back, down, right coming back down. Of the shoulder yeah, blades. coming down hard on the turnbuckle. Envy, once again, sticking her nose where it doesn't belong. I, do we know if she even really has a nose, Mike? I still can't tell with that mask on. Well, apparently she has lips, so I'm assuming she has a nose, too. I'm sort of actually happy that she has that mask on, to be honest. Oh, look at this! Well, he's trying to give her, give him a receipt for early. Oh, rope to the throat. Pride knows a few dirty tricks of his own as well. So, just a one count that time. Now you got to remember Pride's last title defense. He ended up going for a field goal in uh, Dylan Stone's testicles. And yes, I saw testicles on the air. Right in his Dylan Stones, if you will. We'll go with that. Well, look at this Pride here. He has no respect for the fans whatsoever. This, this is the problem I have with Pride. He gets up on a guy, and then he taunts the crowd. It, I guess Pride is more than just a name. It's a way of life for him. Beautiful swinging neck breaker. Over the cover. One, two. 
Whoa, just a two count. Now what, what's he gonna do here? Just cinching it. He's got a bit of a triangle set up here with the legs. Got the hands right across the throat. Oh, Maniac reverses Nice it. bridge by Maniac. Told you, he's a multiple time champion and that's the reason why. The ingenuity. Full head of steam. Oh, misses. Pride goes for the cover. Oh, he's got the tights. But only a two two count. Once again, Sitchi get that headlock there. Derek Law in perfect position. Can't quite get the legs around the body to uh, try and take the air out of him, but. Uh, he, is a, he is a thicker masked man, Mike. I didn't want to say that, you can. Well, I think as a fellow big masked man, it is okay to say. Fair enough. As you hear this crowd firing up, getting behind Maniac. I can't believe how, how much this crowd is behind Maniac. I think it's more anti-pride than anything. Oh, look out! Oh! Right into that top buckle and almost into the post. That was scary. I don't know who got the worst of that one, to be honest. Well, right now, I'm going to have to say Maniac. Pride's the first one to his feet and throwing shots. Well, it all goes back to what you said about last week when he took that shot to the face. He may not be 100% because of that. Pride's gotta be careful, he's gonna get disqualified. Uh-oh, look out! Oh, what a stunner! Oh, look out! Got him up! Maniac bottom! He is known as the move thief for a reason. Is he looking for the maniac elbow? Oh, I think so. He doesn't have his own elbow pad, so why not take out Prize? Coming across, oh. Got it! Could we see a new champion? Oh, one, like one, two. two! No! So close! And Prize got the referee here, uh oh. Oh, Envy went for a super kick. Kiss oh. her again. Kiss her again, Maniac. <laughs> or Kiss. take her head off. <laughs> Finally, that little minx got what she deserves. <laughs> and tosses Pride to the outside with authority. It's called taking out the trash. Wait, is that is that is that Dylan Stone I see? Yeah, it looks like it is. What's he doing out here? Well, I can tell you right now, it looks like he is eating a chocolate bar, drinking a soda, and telling I, Pride... I was told he was hurt. Well, I mean, you can still be hurt and drink a soda and eat a chocolate bar, Mike. I'm not talking about you. Referee Derek up to seven. Pride's got to be careful. Oh! But a pop spit. Oh, there's a 10. Maniac picks up a big victory here, Mike. Over the Alberta champion. But I just have to add, because it is a count out, the title does not change hands. As you can see, Maniac cam right now. Checking out this crowd here. Yes, folks, unfortunately, Pride does keep his title. But your winner of this match is Maniac. Maniac is inciting a riot. But folks, we gotta go to break here. But coming back, we're gonna we're gonna have highlights of the first encounter between the Cheetah Bear, Jude Dawkins, and Chris Parrish leading into this 
tables match for the CWC Championship. I can't wait. We'll be right back, folks. folks time for our main event here at cwc evolution and i needed to bring in some expert analysis i ain't gonna be able to call this one on my own here so uh, backbreaker media zone andre c is joining me here so glad to be here <laughs> here to support the champion chris parrot As you can see, uh, this is a lumberjack match for the CWC Championship as uh, John Bond is introducing all the lumberjacks. Show a little respect for those dang belts. Come on, now. They, they respect those belts plenty fine. If, if they would have respected those belts, they wouldn't have won them the way they did. They're, they're, they're the champions. You can't take that away from them. They did what they had to to win those championships. As you see the general gathering all the titles there with uh, Jack Fry being the Alberta champion and Dean Richter and uh, Sean Martins being the tag team champions. As you can see, Dylan Stone, massive damage and T.S. Cutler coming out. The, the Tassel Terminators. The former tag team champs. I'm surprised they're not over there trying to jump uh, the wrecking crew after what they did here uh, last time at Evolution. No, don't, you don't mess with the best. Simple as that. They know that, so they're not even trying to get the uh, This is going to be one of those times, folks. I might slap my partner right now. And I might just John slap my partner right on back. It's to ensure that the action remains in the ring so that there will be a definitive winner tonight and a champion. Keeping the man, really. Yeah, because Jude wants to run scared. Yeah. Time for the introduction of the challenger. Introducing first the challenger. Weighing in at 240 pounds. He is the animal from. Wait a second. Yeah, <laughs> here we go, baby. What always got to show up at the worst spots, doesn't it? got to welcome out the champion. Champion's number one. He's got to come out first. He, he thinks of himself as the best, and he is the best. Uh, currently, he is the best in this company. Uh, Chris Parrish, the CWC champion, as you see him scrolling out to the... What is that shirt? The king of, with a P in the corner? He, he is the king. He's the CWC champion. And he's the best this company has. There's no denying that. There is a lot denying that here. He won that championship by forfeit. He won that championship, cashing in an opportunity he was given. Just because the champion couldn't defend it is not his fault. Uh, 
Drew Dawkins wasn't man enough to get in that ring, that's on him. Well, he managed to defeat Dylan Stone and Jack Pride in subsequent title defenses. But there you go, fighting champion. He is in for a hell of a challenge here tonight in the Cheetah Bear, Drew Dawkins. This match I've been waiting for ever since Dawkins had to give up that title. Chris Parrish is, is the best CWC has to offer that Alberta Wrestling has to offer, and he will he, he won that championship fair and square, and he's going to keep that championship tonight with, with the three men on the outside, Dylan Stone, Kiss Cutler, and Mass Damage. They're just here to help Drew Dawkins get the win. That's all they're here for. King of CWC. He is the king. Uh, there are so many jokes I could be making right now, but I will just take a pass on them at this moment. I can't wait for the challenger to come out and take care of business here. Yeah, this crowd needs to learn to respect the champion. Simple as that. You don't be a man like this. As you can hear the music of the challenger. As they say, beware the bear. The man that wouldn't even put up a fight when he when he was challenged by this man. He had a torn knee. If he was a true champion, he should he would have defended it. A true champion, he would have defended that championship. Drew Dawkins, the cheetah bear, unfortunately, thanks to the uh, TLC match with the Johnny Kickass, combined with uh, the Leo Burke Cup injury sustained in a fair four-way match. Drew Dawkins ended up on the shelf for the better part of six months. I got the privilege to uh, have him on the uh, commentary table, which right now seems to be a bit of an upgrade for him. Hmm. No, the Cheetah Bear, you're, you're going you're, you're gonna to see it as normal. He ain't going to be able to, to measure up to Chris Parrish. Simple as that. Well, these fans at uh, Festival Hall and Red Deer definitely are right behind the Cheetah Bear. Now, folks, I'm expecting a little bit of chaos in this matchup with the fact that you got seven of the craziest men in uh, Alberta wrestling out there right now and a lot of big feuds on the outside. Right hands. Leaving the champion, leaving your king. I swear, Paris soaks up the hate like a sponge here. I think even one person that might actually like him, but Chris Perry, everybody loves Chris Perry. They just don't want to admit it. I do. But you can see, as you hear the crowd here at Festival Hall trying to get behind Jude, and a scoop slam by Picture Parrish. Picture perfect. Uh oh. Harris looks like he's going to the top. If he hits this frog splash, I, I think this could be pretty much over. It, 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 it's about to be over. Men, it will be champion forever. This building is absolutely rocking here. Oh! Again, with the cheating. What has cheating? To, has, to, has to hit the rope to low blow his opponent. That is perfectly legal, hitting the, that's hitting the top That's rope. just cheating. Uh oh, looks like he's gonna bring in Parrish the hard way. Big fisherman suplex there. Huge suplex. And you can see the pain on that. Uh, uh oh. Looks like Dawkins is gonna go for that Cheetah Bear charge. Can he hit it? Oh! Gets hit with a super kick! Oh man. Put him down hard on that one perfectly. Uh oh. Dawkins again. Oh, and he gets hit with another super kick. There you go. That's he, he doesn't even have to be looking at his opponent to hit him, hit him with a move. Fantastic recovery by the champion, but the king. Dawkins has got to find some way to regroup here, but I don't think this might be the way he wants to do it. Oh, they're just this. they're trying to punch him back into the ring. They're doing their job. Yeah, whatever. They're punching him back in. They're just doing their job. What's it? 
Everybody's paired off, but they weren't. Yeah, he's we're just here. he's just resisting being punched into the back into the ring. Simple as that. They're just doing their job. The lumberjacks are at number four on three. Oh, look! What's Paris doing? Look at! Oh, another super! Oh, look at this! And they're they're up. just doing their job, pushing him back, putting him back into the ring. They're not doing anything wrong. Yeah, I'm sure. It, it, it's not Paris's fault if if if. Look, the Lumberjacks aren't doing their job, maybe? Looks like the Cheetah Bear is a little bit on Loopy Lane instead of Abbey Road. Oh, no, he's trying to suplex him in the ring? That... Oh, no, no, wait, what What the... No, no way. way. No way! No. Oh, my God. Suplex to the outside onto the Lumberjacks! Oh, Jesus. The King is hurt. Everybody's down. Everybody's out. No. That's later tonight. So, with all that out of the way, I'm going to take a few moments to explain to you why I'm back in this ring. Several months ago, the CWC got and were communicating that they were having troubles, uh, as I'm sure many of you know. <laughs> troubles with issues with wrestlers and issues with factions. There was chaos. There's been nothing but problems for months. So the CWC head office needed someone to have a sense of authority over the situation to help with this. So after several months of communications, the answer for me was simple, to come out here every night in front of you amazing CWC fans, night in, night out, and to provide you with the best entertainment possible, how can I not say yes? So, it brings me a great deal of joy to announce to you that I have been reinstated as the commissioner of the CWC. <laughs> With that being said, there are conditions that come along with my reinstatement. Uh, responsibilities that I have to take care of right now. White Skyler! Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, at this time I would ask that you please help me welcome Chris Parrish. Oh, I think that's about the warmest welcome that you can get for the uh, former CWC champion as we welcome you to uh, CWC Evolution this week. Mr. Parrish looking rather dapper tonight. But he's got a grin on his face here because he's been mentioning for the last few weeks now that he has a lawsuit in place. Uh, I've seen some preliminary paperwork, and this is not going to be pretty, folks, but... As you can see, Chris Parrish trying to make extra friends here with the crowd. The man that just feeds off the haterade. Well, we thought there'd be a little bit of sportsmanship, but... That's funny, a tally goalie wants a city back. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I would please ask, help me to welcome your CWC champion, the Cheetah Bear, Jude Dawkins! appearance there he is the CWC champion Jude Dawkins who defeated Chris Parrish in a lumberjack match at our last show oh, I got a feeling this crowd is absolutely engulfed with the cheetah bear here 
And this crowd just feeds it right back. good with the title on him. But I don't think Jude knows the details of his lawsuit here. <laughs> for a certain company here. Mm. Yeah. 
medically clear. Therefore, I have a legal obligation to sue the Canadian Wrestling Alliance for negligence. folks main event time here on evolution and all i gotta say is you got what price mike i am not going to dignify that with an answer it is a tables match for the cwc championship as we have the introduction of the champion my least favorite person in the world even after what johnny did to you last week i still think i hate parish more I think that's pretty universal with this crowd here. I, I honestly don't know who the crowd hates more, Parrish or Pride. You know what? I'm going to have to go with Parrish at this time. 
just listen to the crowd if this guy gets a microphone. Oh, please, God, I hope we don't see that tonight. But I think we're somewhere around 413 days as champion. I, I have to admit, it's been impressive. Minus the fact, you know, lots of those victories have come by the way of cheating. Well, also by a lawsuit, as you noticed in our uh, preview to this match, we had the Kingdom Come match that got s scrapped because technically Paris wasn't cleared to wrestle. Or so he says. That doctor's note looks a little suspect to me. Nick Riviera is an astute doctor. Come on now. But folks, you got you got that feeling of a big match vibe here right now. It's the tension is palpable, Mike. Two guys that absolutely hate each other going at it one last time. Appropriately to show that they're calling last hunt here tonight. Listen to this crowd explode here for the Cheetah Bear. This man is possibly my favorite person to watch in a ring, Mike. So you got your favorite versus your least favorite tonight. Pretty much. This is going to be interesting, folks. I'll say that. Now, these guys have gone through so many battles against each other. But Cheetah Bear has gone through so many obstacles. And almost a career ending injury, Mike. Well, the reason he lost the title was due to that injury when Chris Parrish cashed in his Canada Cup and he didn't even have to beat Dawkins for it. It was a forfeit because he couldn't continue with the title. You can see that Cheetah Bear is really fired up in this match for this matchup. F folks, these guys have met numerous times. They know everything about each other. And it all comes to a head here tonight, Mike. And it's just straight old, let's see who's going to get this one done here. This is going to be brutal and nasty. We're going to love every second of it. Well, maybe not every second. You could say, Mike, this match might make everybody a little stiff. Uh, here we go, folks. Oh, speaking of here we go. We're not even waiting. Oh, a big knee. I think the bell's gone officially Amy anyway right now. Oh no, referee Avon. Avon has a call for the bell. Jude is so fired up right now. What is Paris doing? Is he taking his ball and going home? He can't, this is a tables match. There's no count out. There's no disqualification. There's the bell. Jude's after him. Jude's <laughs> on him like white on right. Oh, what a headbutt. Right here. Oh, he's taking all oh, right in the guardrail. Jude's going to take oh. it. Oh. Jude's taking it from pillar to post here. Look out. Oh. 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 What a shoulder right into the steps! My sweet lord, Mike. That was painful. Now the object of this match is to put your opponent through a table. I I don't know if it's going to be easier or harder when all of Parrish's ribs are broken. And we should mention offensively put somebody through a table, Mike. Absolutely. Somebody slips in a table. We don't have any of those cop-out wins here. And I am glad. 
I just hope you have enough tables for this match because I had a feeling there's going to be enough attempts on Parrish's fight. Oh! Gets met with a back body drop. Jude right back on him. Snow foot all. Looks like Dawkins is going for that wheelbarrow suplex. Oh, here we go. Got him up. Got him up. Beautiful. Textbook cheetah bear, Mike. These guys know each other so well. You can see Paris trying to block that and no dice. Jude going for a table already, Mike. Well, why fool around? Go to it right away. Finish it early. I don't blame him. Here comes table number one. And I hope we just stay at number one. Oh! Beastman drop kicks on that table right into the ribs of Dawkins. Mike, I have weighed these tables and they are not your average tables. They bought these tables making it hurt. Oh, I think these guys just want to inflict pain. But speaking of which, this will look like Parrish has some devious thoughts on his mind here, shoving that table into the ring. Now, every time these two have faced each other, Parrish has found a way to sneak out a victory by hook or by crook. Interference all over the place. Well, I don't think in this match he's gonna get by Crook. No, there's gonna be a definitive winner in this one. This crowd is behind Jude Dawkins, unlike any other person in that locker room. Unfortunately, I think that might help Parrish as much as it helps Dawkins. Uh, Paris setting up that table in the corner. That is a dangerous position for that table. Oh, just a blatant choke. Unfortunately, it is completely illegal. Paris pointing out to the referee that there's no DQs. Uh-oh, we gonna end it here? Gotta remember, it's an offensive move that has to do it. He blocked it, so he just cut it in half himself. Uh oh, what are they doing here? Trying to set up for a suplex. Who's gonna get the advantage here? Well, Paris and Light need the crowd of uh, exports. Uh oh, look out! Two reverses. Oh, beautiful suplex there. Just drops him on his back. I like to call that the Xplex. The Xplex? Well, that's what I've heard it called, anyways. Fair enough. But let's be serious, Mike. I'm just a wrestler. What do I know? Oh, trust me, I'm just a wrestling fan. What do I know? All I know right now is Dawkins is unloading some shots on Parrish. Oh, a palm strike right to the face. Did you hear the sound of that shot, Mike? Once again, Parrish to the outside. Uh-oh, this... She'd have been coming across. Oh, dive right through. So agile. She'd have been taking a chance. Is it me or does he look like a rabid animal tonight? Well, Jude is so focused because he knows that this is the last chance for him to get that championship. Dawkins setting up for that Cheetah Bear charge. He's locked and loaded. Oh! oh! 
Oh, and hits it, but he hit the referee. Ref down, and this time it's not Derek Law. Referee Avon is out. Commissioner Gordon's wondering what the heck to do here right now. There's no, there's no DQ here. Jude pleading for a new ref. Out of control. Out of here. Come on, Dawkins has got. A, Dawkins got to look out. Here comes Parrish. Oh, and just clobbers him. Well, that while well, these two continue to go at it, it looks like Bob Gordon went to the back. I'm, I'm guessing he's going to get another referee. I hope so. Oh. Parrish just dumps referee Avon to the outside. He's hey. raining down the blows. Parrish just going on the offensive here. I think he's going to find a way to put Dawkins through a table no matter what. But I got a question. If there's no ref to see it, does it count as a win? I, I don't know what to say. That's, that's Bob Gordon's call. Here comes table number two. I was going to say, I hope this one fares better than the first one, but I have uh, a feeling it's not going to. Here's the question, how many tables do we have here? I am not sure, but I heard Lumber Mart is now broke. I thought they'd be rich. Well, that's what I meant. Let's be serious. I'm not the smartest. Play on in the box. Hence, that's why he's the wrestler and I'm the commentator. Ugh. Dawkins trying to fire up, but I don't know if he notices what Parrish is doing. Oh, oh. A kick. Nice up kick. Looks like Parrish might be trying to finish off Jude here. Got him up to this. Oh. Uh, uh. Are you thinking what I'm thinking here? Oh, no. Oh, God, no. They hit this and, oh my goodness. Oh, shot to the thigh. Oh, and Parrish to the outside. Parrish gets all the way knocked down to the floor. Jude looks a little bit perplexed on what he should do. Dawkins chasing out after him. Uh-oh. Is he clearing off? Bob Gordon's table? Hey, never said specifically it had to be a wood table. That is right. Oh no. Folks, those plastic tables, they hurt. There is zero give as we saw. I've seen many promotions use them as stretchers for wrestlers. He's got him up. No way. Oh my goodness. Oh. Just wakes his neck across that top rope. A reverse stun gun, if you will. You guys keep correcting me on that. Oh no, now Parrish has got some devious ideas. Oh. I don't want to see this, Mike. This brings back bad memories. Oh no. Oh, reversal. Oh, in that, in that corner there. Uh-oh. These guys know each other so well, they're calling each other's moves. That might not be the best thing right now for them to call out their moves. Probably not, since they know each other so well. Oh, uh, into that turnbuckle. Harris has got some devious intentions with that table in the ring. Bringing him back up top, Mike. We're going to see a superplex here. But there is still no referee, Mike. I don't know if it's going to be an important point here. Uh-oh. What do we got going here? Oh, to the table, Mike. Dawkins should be the champion right now. Harris through the table. Where's the referee? We need one right now. Should be over. What? What? 
There's no referee, but what oh, is this no. like? Mike, don't tell me. No way. This jerk is gonna cash in his Canada Cup? Oh no. Bob, don't say it. No! Oh no! No way! Power slam! How oh. can this be allowed to happen, Mike? Well, he's got that Canada Cup. He's allowed to cash it in whenever he wants. I don't care. He's wrecking a perfectly good main event. Oh, I agree with you completely, but you think that's going to stop kick ass at all? It's really not. Oh, what a shot. This is giving me horrible flashbacks, Mike. Oh, absolutely. I, I know your shoulder's not 100%, but I don't think anything's going to be 100% now, is it? Oh, coming across. Oh! Thrust kick! And a clothesline! Oh. Yeah, that's a normal. Oh! Hip attack on Parrish. And a second one. Kick ass, the ultimate opportunist here. He's smiling, Mike. This is disgusting. He's smiling. You blame him? He's in full control right now. I think he just likes causing havoc. He likes causing havoc and he wants that title. He's pulling out a table. This it, match should be over, Mike. No, it should be over, but it's still a tables match regardless, but no referee saw the first call. <laughs> referee Derek Law trying to find some way to get Kick-Ass to break that up, but. I, I don't think it really matters, Mike. There's no DQs. No, but. I, I think Derek Law is just as confused as the rest of us. Let's just face it, that's not surprising sometimes. Sorry, referee talk. My bad. So trying to get that old table out of the ring. Kick-ass setting up. Can you hear the murmur in this crowd? Everybody is just in shock right now. Everybody doesn't know what to think. Oh, once again. Spitting at the crowd. Oh, and Kickass just labeling him with that right. Oh no. If he hits this, it's over. Oh. Paris Harris just saved Jude. What the? I don't know if he's saving Jude, he's saving his title. Oh, look at this! This is something I don't think I'd ever see! The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Super kick! Red Queen! Right over my button! Both these guys looking at each other like. Now I got a question. What happens if they both put Johnny through a table? I, I want to cross that bridge when we get to it. Oh, talk about a little bit of your own medicine. Turnabout is fair play, Mike. Dollar bomb! Ah. Stealing your thunder. Like, folks, we got an even ball game here. All three men are down, all three men are out. Parrish is trying to stir. One of these guys has to go through a table by somebody else. Looks like we're heading back to where we started here. Both these guys just unloading shots. It's a good old fashioned Donnie Brook. They're just not fooling around. Oh, ho, 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 ho. What a headbutt! Kickass caught him up! 
Wait, go for the parachute. Got out of it. Oh, and Kickass just labels him with those clotheslines. Those are not comfortable clotheslines. No, not at all. Coming off the ropes. And another one with a little bit of stank on it. PTSD, Mike. PTSD. Oh, I got him. Parish up. Power bomb. So brutal. Takes out the champion. Now Kickass. Uh oh. Kickass going for a table. Folks, this. Kickass is a king of the tables here, and he's showing why. A hush kind of went over this crowd, Mike. It's Johnny Kickass has taken control of this match and effectively taken out the two top stars in this company. Got him lying on top here. What's. I think that that table, just a little smack, might do it. He's got to be careful here. Whoever puts Paris through that table is going to be the winner here. Offensively, Mike, just remember that. Uh -oh. If he power bombs this. Oh, he took both of them. I can't believe it, Mike. New champion. History's been made here. What a snake, Mike. What a snake. Takes the opportunity, sneaks in at the last moment when both these guys are out, and captures the CWC championship. I can't believe this. This is garbage, Mike. I'm gonna have to go talk to somebody. Well, we'll have to settle this out with the CWC head office here, because we gotta talk about that first fall here, but it looked like Jude had this one. Jude won this match in my eyes. But folks, we're... Well, on that note, we're gonna head out of here. Prime time, it, it's been an interesting night. Uh, well, from the man of twisted steel and sex appeal, ladies and gentlemen, just like a good belly button, I'm Audi. Uh, and this is Mike the Ref saying, thank you for checking out CWC Evolution the Canadian Wrestling Coalition, the evolution of wrestling.